Welcome or welcome back at uh, I need help at C squared. In this uh, example, we will I will show you how to use a TI calculator to get a polynomial regression, a quadratic in fact. Uh, in a previous video clip, uh, I show you how to use Excel. I'm going to put the link down so you can see that one also in case you need it. So this is the data given to us. So first of all, we need to put these numbers in the calculator. And for the, that reason, after I click the calculator, I click in on this uh, stats button. Stat button. Okay, and which gives me this menu. And then you see this edit choice. You click uh, enter. And then you're going to get a table like this one where you type in your information. I will start with the first list where we I type this number 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and then you move with this uh, arrow to the right and you type on L2 you type the second column you see here. I will suggest you to um, double check always because you want to be sure you have the correct data in your calculator. The next thing will be to see that uh, data in your calculator. For that reason, you're going to click on this button, second, and then Y equals. So now you're going to get something that is called the statistical plot. Okay, you, in fact, you see that yellow um, term here. And you have these four plots. You can use any of those. I'm going to go with the number one. It's already highlighted by the uh, TI calculator and you want to activate it so you're going to click enter if it's off you want to be on and you see it here now is on just click uh, enter and um, the next thing is to um, click the graph which is right here and unfortunately, you see, there is nothing here. Why is nothing here? Because the data we have in the table doesn't fit on, on these windows. This window, I think, starts from negative 10, maybe, to positive 10. Uh, and uh, here, probably the same thing. This is negative 10, positive 10. So either you can adjust the window uh, using the, this uh, button, or you can zoom use this button zoom and then if you notice there is uh, a zoom stats right here so it's not on the first page you have to scroll down or press the button with number nine these zoom stats will give will give you the window that fit your data and now you see the data right here this is um, the data we have in the table my next uh, stage in this um, how to use this calculator for the getting this polyma polynomial regression is to get the uh, quadratic that fits this data. So again, I'm going to click on the stat button and then I go back and now I want to get this one. So obviously you have to click this arrow to move to the right. And then you see here a bunch of things that uh, you can use and the one I'm going to use is number five. Why number five? Because I'm going to use a quadratic regression. That's what it says here, quadratic regression. If you need a cubic, guess what? That is number six. Quartic, which is four degree, is number seven in case you need it. But we're going to go with number five, quadratic regression. And um, you click enter. And now you want to do what I call um, get the equation of the graph on the top of the data, if you remember. So we're going to click on this button, which is right here, VARS, which gives you this window. But you want to go to this guy. So again, you're going to use this arrow and you're going to highlight it. Y bars. Once you do that, the first thing you have there is a function. Is this choice? Keep it as it is. 
that's what we need. You're going to click enter. You get this Y1. And then if you click enter again, that you go back on this uh, screen and we, where you have quadratic regression and then you have this Y1. In other words, um, the quadratic equation we get will be on stored as Y1. So whenever I'm, I'm going to click here, you will see the graph of that quadratic equation. So now we're going to click enter and the calculator is going to calculate for you the quadratic regression. This is the quadratic equation AX squared plus BX plus C. You notice it, you have the coefficient A, B and C. So you just copy, replace them in this form and you have the quadratic regression. Uh, in this case, you notice also I have what is called the coefficient of correlation. It's almost one which tells us that the curve we get here, the equation we have here, uh, fits very, very well, almost perfect, the data we have. And we see that here. When I click on the graph, remember I put that Y1 in the memory of this calculator. The calculator is going to draw the curve of that Y1. And you can see it now, uh, this uh, um, curve this quadratic and of course like I said if you click on y equals you see exactly what we have here we see it here okay so because we use that y bars this equation was graphed right here so we can see it now okay um, now on part c if you remember we ask to superimpose the regression curve on the scatter plot, which already did it. And this is like a summary here. Uh, this is the quadratic regression again. This is the equation in the Y1, in case you need it. And like I said, my last thing in this uh, example is to show you how to use the calculator to get the value for a the value, the output, let me be sure for a specific value of the input, you can do that. So in our case, we are asked to use this regression model that we uh, found using the calculator to predict the stopping distance for a vehicle traveling at 25 miles per hour. So that means the X is 25. Okay, so I use this way when I use the table setup. So second window and you get a table setup. Usually the table start from zero. I change it and I put 25. Okay, and again, then you're gonna click second table again. And uh, I'm sorry, not that one. Second table, which is right here. Second graph. Uh, and you get a table and the table will start with 25 and you have the value we, you're looking for. That is one way, of course, you can uh, go on the uh, calculator and request to get a value of y when x equals 25. And that's it for the this example. If you want to see the last couple parts, please check the link below where you see that Excel spreadsheet and I finished the problem of the Excel spreadsheet. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.